Hey you, yeah you, smile. Hi friend, you're listening to Mary Says to Smile, the podcast I hope you get something out of, whether it's a smile, laugh, or learning something about whatever it is we're talking about. Hi everyone, it's your girl Mary. If you follow the podcast, then you'll know that I've been doing a series called Your Happiness. I'm obsessed with how every person is different and therefore has different experiences, opinions, and thoughts in general. Happiness is the best thing, and maybe these many interviews will inspire you to go find your happiness. This is Cassidy. Hey. Hi, Cass. Hello, hello. So excited to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. (laughs) Okay, so question number one. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when someone asks, what makes you happy? Hmm. There's definitely a lot of things I think of. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I love dancing. I love um, working out. It's been a new thing in my life. Yes. Um, Since quarantine, we finally got back on the bandwagon of baking. Ooh, yes. yes. It's a good stress relief, especially last semester when I had a bunch of stress from my classes. Oh. (laughs) I started baking again. And yeah, just spending time with people that make me happy as well. Okay, perfect segue into who makes you happy, like genuinely happy. Hmm, Definitely my family. I love spending time with them. I'm very close to my mom and dad and my relatives, like all my cousins and my aunties and my uncles and stuff like that. And definitely my friends. I'm someone whose love language is quality time. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely tell if we're besties if I you know make the effort to hang out with you because I'm very introverted Mm -hmm. and if I'm not comfortable around somebody I just won't engage I mean I will but maybe not to like the degree of depth that I would like to connect with someone else on yes so yeah okay tell me about your happy place either real life or fictional or both Okay, in real life, I really love dancing. Sometimes, as you'll hear on another podcast, um, sometimes it's a little bit toxic Mm -hmm. if you don't have the right approach or mindset to it. Mm -hmm. But I think when you do have the right mindset, I think it's a great place. You grow there. Yeah. Um, Sometimes positively, sometimes not. But just trying to find (laughs) that that balance there. And um, I also didn't say this earlier, but I'm very into reading. Ooh. I love reading. Um, I have ever since I was like two, mm-hmm. you know? So um, definitely a fictional happy place for me is when I'm reading, like creating that world yes, that the yes. author creates. So whatever it is, um, I kind of put my own spin on it sometimes. Oh, no, for sure. For sure. And yeah, just, you know, seeing things through my eyes. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. Oh, I love that answer. (laughs) Okay. A song that when you listen to, a smile creeps on your face no matter what. So, I am an only child. I was raised predominantly by the women in my family. Okay. So, like, my mom, my grandma, and my aunties on my mom's side. Mm -hmm. And so, when I was growing up, really had to listen to what they were playing no, on the for radio. Sure. So it was definitely, I can still tell you all of the songs on my grandma's high school reunion CD. I can High school s- reunion CD? Yes, I can sing you all of the songs word for word. I remember the cassette tapes she used to play. Um, you know, like all of those old 70s and 80s. Mm-hmm. Like I definitely... I'm an old soul, so I definitely lean more towards those. Okay, okay. So I think my song and like the one song, Mary, if you're listening, so listen good, (laughs) or other choreographers out there listening. Okay. My favorite song of all time is I Want to Dance with Somebody. (gasps) By Whitney Houston. By Whitney Houston. And so I'm not sure when my dance career will ever come to an end. You know, like with life, it takes you Mm -hmm. different places Mm -hmm. that... If I do that one song, I'll know that, you know, that was supposed to be, like, the end of my journey. Like, that's what I want to end on. Oh. Like, a happy note. Yeah. Rather than, like, a sad Mm -hmm. note. Because I've had so many great and sometimes bad (laughs) experiences with (laughs) dancing. But I don't know. That song just makes you feel happy to be alive. 
Yes. And just to be in the company of other people. And I know in COVID, we've kind of lost that a little bit, like yeah. connection sometimes with people we hold dearest to us because mm-hmm. of distance or whatever the case may be. So yeah, I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston. I love my old jams. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What is a food that can make even the darkest moments in life a bit more bearable? I always joke about this to my mom because I am an avid chocolate lover. You Ooh. give me chocolate, I'm in love automatically. Okay. And so my mom, before she was pregnant, never ate chocolate. Hated oh. it. Never grew up eating it. Just wasn't her thing. Right. And then when she got pregnant with me, mm-hmm. she finally... That was her craving was chocolate. And I always joke, I'm like, mom, you're so welcome for giving you good taste. Mom, if you're listening, I love you. (laughs) You know? (laughs) But I love chocolate. I love my chocolate lava cakes. You already know. And I joke about this with our friend Victoria, who owns Georgette Volcano. Shout out to Georgette Volcano. So if you're listening, go get a chocolate croissant, which is the greatest thing on earth. So good. Yes. Everywhere I go, I try to get a chocolate croissant Mm -hmm. to like, because I'm a chocolate croissant connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah. So I've had theirs. um, When I went to London and Scotland, I've had theirs up (gasps) there. um, Ate some in Seattle. Just everywhere I go, I try to get one. Yes. Because I'm just in love with chocolate. If I could, and I make this joke to her. It was a (laughs) joke, but I definitely take it seriously now. If I could, I would marry a chocolate croissant. Ooh. I could if I if I would. You know. Love it. If you could marry one food, it would be a chocolate croissant. Definitely. <laughs> yes. Tell me about a moment where you knew that you were blissfully content with life and the world seemed golden. Wow. So many layers to this question. <laughs> I'm definitely an introvert so Mm. I definitely like look at things from different perspectives yes I tend to be a little more on the realist Mm -hmm. side so sometimes my realism is a little too like I can always see the bad and the good oh sometimes it's a little hard for me but I'm trying to like separate the two out Mm -hmm. you know but you know definitely like those big things graduating high school landing my first lead role you know, all of yeah. those things, spending time with my family, even small things. Yes. Just understanding like that it's definitely the people around you mm-hmm. that bring you joy besides yourself. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you got to live with yourself forever. So you got to enjoy yourself as well. I love that. <laughs> yes. Do you have a favorite quote that is either uplifting or makes you feel powerful or both? Ooh, my favorite quote Um, I definitely use this a lot when I was kind of having some mental health issues personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So my favorite quote is, no one is you and that is your power. (gasps) Oh, that is powerful. I know some people, we always compare. That's just what humans do, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes to our detriment, sometimes for better, Mm -hmm. you know. So um, just recognizing that we all bring something special to the table yes and just because you bring something and someone else brings something different doesn't make you less than them Mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily make you better than them as well yes you know we're all on our own individual journey to you know either find yourself find what you love to do just be happy in general yeah so I think just understanding that and everybody's different you know like I am terrible at math but somebody out there could be like the greatest mathematician. mathematician in the world. And I'd be like, go you, you know? Yes. Oh my gosh. Those are great answers. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. All right. And thank you all for listening. Have a great day. Hi there. That was an episode of Mary Says to Smile. Please like, share, review, and subscribe. <laughs> basically however you're listening to this podcast. Also, I've made an email for you guys to send questions or topics that you would like for me to discuss slash talk about. It's going to be hi, Mary says to smile at gmail.com. One more time, 
hi mary sister smile at gmail.com anyways i hope you have the most amazing day bye